Hey guys, so this is the Tangzu Warner SG and I know there are thousands of reviews of this already on the internet and I know I'm late to the game but because I've seen so many comments from you guys of uh, comparing these to other in-ear monitors and asking how these compare so I had to get my hands on these myself and I heard it. I heard a number of songs and music using these in-ear monitors and I have to say I understand now why these are so immensely popular and it's for all the right reasons. Now the first thing that will impress you from the get-go is the packaging of these in-ear monitors. So it comes in a hard box which is rather large for its size. Inside it the first thing you're greeted with is a cleaning cloth which is a nice addition and as soon as you remove the cleaning cloth you are greeted with the in-ear monitors and look how beautifully they are arranged and yes I've got the green version with me here and I think it looks absolutely spectacular especially with the gold design underneath the resin it just looks beautiful. Now apart from this inside the box you get several pairs of different size silicon ear tips you get the oxygen free copper cable that has two pin detachable cables on one end it has an inline microphone with a single button and it ends in a 3.5mm L-shaped audio jack. Now these house a single 10mm dynamic driver inside and have got an impedance of 20 ohms. So although these are low impedance in your monitors, again I would highly suggest that you do invest in a portable DAC, nothing too fancy, just something that can give these enough power and let these perform to their full potential so that you get the best audio experience. And of course I'll link the portable DAC that I use in the description below. And as for comfort as well, although these are not built with premium materials, it's your usual resin, but I am not against it. They are light, they are very comfortable in the ear, fit very snug and provide good passive noise isolation and they don't tire or wear out your ears even for long listening sessions. Okay, now let's get into the main criteria which is the audio quality which is why the Tangzu Warner SG is so popular in its price segment. So you guys know if you're an existing viewer, I judge these in-ear monitors based on how they produce the three main frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids and the lows. The highs are the treble, where the really sharp sounding instruments are, the mids where the vocals are and the low end or the bass response. So starting off with the higher frequencies, the highs have a lot of detail, they have enough richness and although they are given a bit of preference, they are by no means sibilant where the S's sound very harsh. So even for long listening sessions, they are A-OK. -okay. They bring out those subtle nuances which are there in the higher frequencies. The instruments are beautifully rendered. It's got a sparkly rendition. So it's very fun to listen to without any of the harshness or the hollowness. So the highs did a very good job. Now coming to the mid frequencies or the vocals, again the vocals were beautifully rendered and they had two of the favorite things or the most important things that I consider in the mid frequencies or the vocals which is the warmth and the natural tonality. So male voices sounded very nice, had good depth and enough detail but it was the female vocals that I especially enjoyed listening to these because they had that clarity, that pristineness while having the natural tonality. So it just sounded very, very enjoyable without sounding hollow, without sounding artificially brightened. It was at the sweet spot and any song that you listen to is done justice. However, certain tracks and at certain points, I would find that the low end at times would creep into the lower mids and that is when it would sound a bit muffled if all of those were playing together. So it depends on the track as well but it's something that I did notice. It's not a deal breaker by any means. It's because I was listening to it with my full attention and I want to give you the most detailed uh, feedback possible. So this is something I did notice but for any general listener it's nothing that you should even think about because the vocals sounded very very good. Finally we get to the low end or the bass response. Now the bass response was thick and punchy and round. It's a bit mid bass heavy so the mid bass is fast and very responsive and really gives you that thump and it's very undistorted as well. However having said that certain tracks did give me a bit of those subtle rumbles, the, the sub lows. This was rare 
but it did happen. So that is a plus point. And if you tweak your equalizer just a tad bit to give the bass response a little bit of boost, not that these lag bass, but if you want that extra bit of reach, you could do that. And that brings in a lot more power into the low end and your tracks just sound that much more impactful and powerful and the overall experience becomes much more enjoyable. All right, guys, so that was my review of the Tangzu Warner SG. I definitely recommend them and you should definitely get yourself a pair if you haven't already. And the link to this product is given in the description below and I would really appreciate it if you use that link to make your purchase. It's an affiliate link. It won't cost you anything extra, but you guys will be helping me run this channel and I can produce more such high quality and helpful content just for you guys. So if you have any other questions regarding this in your monitor, do let me know in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And yep, that's about it. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.